everybody. Um, putting up this video to review uh, a tripod that I've kind of been searching for, or a tripod that I've been searching for. Um, I wanted something that was a little lighter than the tripods I have right now. So most of my tripods are a little heavy. Uh, they were initially, a lot of them were designed for video work. Uh, and I've shifted to a lot more photo stuff now. So the big heavy tripods aren't really uh, that nice to carry around. So uh, I went on my search online, of course, to find something that was a little more uh, budget friendly. I didn't really want to spend another two, three hundred dollars on a tripod that I was going to mostly be using for when I was traveling. Uh, so um, I was on Adorama's site, I believe, and they had this uh, Dolica. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. For one twenty nine, that retailed for one hundred ninety nine dollars U.S. So that sparked my interest. It was getting pretty good reviews, you know, somewhere in the three to four stars out of five. Um, but I wanted to go find to see if there's anybody that had done any kind of official review or showed the tripod or anything like that. Um, and I really couldn't find much. I think there's actually one video from possibly the, a guy from Dolica that does a small review on, on this tripod. Uh, anyways, the that actually ended up me finding uh, a cheaper price on this tripod. So I actually found, uh, when I bought this tripod, this Dolica, uh, it for 79 bucks at Costco in the US. Now I'm in Canada so it was a little bit tricky for me to get it from the US as they won't ship here and the Costco in Canada doesn't actually have this this Dolica tripod. So I actually had to get a, uh, a cousin of ours that lives in the States to order it for me and have it shipped. But needless to say it has arrived. Now again I was looking for a tripod that was going to be fairly, uh, have some fair height to it. Um, I'm 6'1". So I was looking for something that was gonna not I wasn't gonna have to crouch down for. Also, something that was gonna be able to hold, of course, the weight of my camera on it. So I shoot a 7D, uh, 70 70 with a battery grip. And biggest lens that I have actually right now, uh, and this is of course this is this is my T2i, my 70s over here, but I have a T2i, and that's that's with the a 70 to 100 uh, f4 on it. So, what I'll do is, at the near the end of this video, what I'm going to do is take the tripod out, we're going to take it out right away, and we'll actually put the camera on it, just to see, uh, hopefully, how the, the head does with that kind of weight on it. Um, yeah, the other nice thing was, again, for $79, it came with not just uh, a set of carbon fiber legs. Now the column in the in the tripod is not carbon fiber, so it adds a little bit of weight to it. Not too bad. Um, but the legs themselves are carbon fiber, and it comes with a ball head. And uh, actually, again for the price, I, I'm, it looks like the ball head's quite good. Now, well here, let's let's just do this. Let's just bring this out. So this is this is the carbon fiber head or the carbon fiber set. So the nice thing right after that is it does come in a nice little bag, okay? And this is Dolica's Pro-Line, okay? So this is their Pro-Line version. And as far as I can tell from Dolica, uh, this is, well, it looks like it may be probably the most expensive tripod that they sell. Um, putting this against uh, my Manfrotto tripod, for instance, I have a, uh, I just saw 190 with that head on it. Um, now I would definitely say that the 190 feels a little bit more sturdy, but I would hope so for its price point. Uh, and it could be a little bit too that this just feels so light because of the carbon fiber. But that the the Manfrotto with a head is definitely I would say a good pound and a half, maybe two pounds more than this one. This one they say is between three and three and a half pounds I believe, and that's it right there. So it is uh, actually fairly small. This is folded up, of course, and if you want to make it even a little bit smaller, you could fold the head down. Um, I'm not going to show this, but one of the nice things that I found with this head as well, I still have the tag on it, of course, um, is that the column itself is reversible. So you can, you can see this piece here unscrews, 
right? So this is, which is nice if you see this. It's got a, it's got a little hook on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a little hook on the bottom. So if I want to actually, because it is so light, if I wanted to put some kind of weight on the bottom here, I'd have no issue putting that on here. The only thing, of course, because this column is reversible, which is, again, has a plus and a negative, is that I have found that this piece here tends to want to unscrew a little bit on occasion, which I have to make sure to tighten up whatever I can. Not, not too big a deal. Um, but yeah, anyway, you can take this column out and reversed, reverse the column. So the actual head on the top is down here. So if you want to want to get your camera nice and low, you could, which is actually kind of cool. Now, the tripod itself has, and if you see this, I'll pop these in. <coughs> The legs automatically come up to about, I don't even know what degree that would be, but about that far. Now, when I watched the Dolica review, or the Dolica demo on this tripod, he seemed to very easily be able to go, put it into three, three points, so one about here, one a little further, and one, you know, almost laying the, the, the tripod flat. And I really was having a bit of a problem or trouble figuring out how that went. But then I kind of looked at the legs, and a lot of people I've seen are... So this, each one of the legs has this, I don't know if you can see it, it's just this dolica part, and this piece slides in and out. So once you hit a point, if you give it a... Don't go right up against it, bring it back a bit, and slide this up. And once you break past that point, and you click it back in, she'll go to the next point. So she's here, now she's locked. Once you want that further, you can push it back again pop it out, go past that, slide it back, and she'll go to her final point. Um, so it's not a click, 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 right, where it finds that piece. You kind of have to be a little bit more playful with it to find where it is. That one goes there. Click it out. If I come in a little earlier, she'll come to it there. But that's all right. You know what? I paid 79 bucks for this. Um, just so anybody knows, if they go to the Costco site right now, you know, the date right now is mid-January. Um, last time I checked, actually, the sale that they had was not on anymore, and they were selling it for 99 Now, 99 is still a good deal, as far as I'm concerned with this tripod, considering you can go to, you know, your cheapo tripods and still spend 80 bucks and not get anything near as nice or light as this one. So, anyway, that's nice. Um, a lot of people had this concern about these, uh the way that the legs, so there's the twists instead of the clamps. Um, uh, so far I'm not too bad with them. This is the first time I've had a twist. Uh, I do like the fact that for quick, you know, you can actually, these are all nice and tight right now. So they're all tightened right up. So it's, the leg's not going anywhere. If I take this and just give it a, and you'll actually see I can hold all three of them. So if I hold all three and give it a nice spin, what happens is the legs can nicely extend. Right, now, then I could fasten one, each one, one at a time. But when they all come back in, I can do the exact opposite and just snug them all up together. And now they're all nice and firm in there. So I kind of like, I kind of like that actually a little bit more than I actually thought I would. Um, so there it is, nice and light. The head itself. So the head itself. Well, let's go a little further. The body itself, uh, and, I'll, and I'll zoom in on this. I'll close up on it. Has two things. Um, they have these compasses on them. Now, I guess if I'm lost in the wilderness, that's great. Uh, if I needed to figure out which direction was west or east, I guess it's there. I, I don't know if I need that, but whatever. It's, it's a feature. It's not as if I had to pay extra for it. Uh, it does come with a level, so that's awesome. You've got at least a level there. Um, and then we have this part right here. So this, of course, will twist. And then once it twists, twist. This is going to loosen. It's going to loosen the physical column, so the column can go up and down. So that gives us another, you know, I'm guessing I don't have don't have a ruler here, uh, an extra foot, foot and a half um, of height. Now uh, I'm not going to show this completely, but. Um, Again, I'm 6'1". When this legs are fully extended, uh, and the column is fully extended, and I have my 70 on this head, the camera is right on my face. So, very good. I'm quite happy with that. 
Uh, they call this the 60 inch. Now I don't know if that's 60 inch just legs or 60 inch with, well it's got to be higher because it's, it's got to be 60 inch with legs and the extended with the tripod because 60 inch is only 5 feet. So that's got to be giving me that extra boost I guess. But yeah, no I was, anybody that's 6 feet ish or, or shorter should have no problems with this. So the other one now is the head itself. So the head itself actually has uh, degrees on it, which is nice to have all the 0 to 45 to 90 uh, for someone that's doing any kind of panoramic stuff or want to set up for stitching. That would kind of be a nice feature, I guess. We then have two. I'll make sure this is nice and tightened. So we have two here. Uh, and the two on here would be this screw. Now this screw is going to be how the actual head physically physically goes around. I'm going to tighten that back up a little bit. So she physically spins. And I can, of course, tighten that or loosen that. So I'll just loosen that up a little bit. No, let's just spin that around. Okay. The other one, of course, is going to be this guy. And this guy is going to be how loose the physical ball gets. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, not bad. You know, I, I've seen I've seen tripod heads uh, that would cost a hundred, two hundred dollars by themselves, uh, not be any better than this one is. So as long as it holds the weight of the camera, I, I'm okay with that. So that's again, that's that's not bad. So again, you can spin it very loose so she flops around, right? Or you can give it a nice little snug there so she's a little little bit more friction in there. But she's got she's she's nice, she's fluid. I'm I'm okay with that. Um, last one of course is this one. So this is gonna be where you unlock the actual plate. So this will unlock. You'll see the plate can slide. Now what's nice about it is it does have this side button. So if you accidentally start this and you're not holding onto your camera and the plate slides, she she won't she won't slide all the way up. You have to actually hold this for the tripod plate or the camera to come off the camera. So, a little bit of a safety. Uh, I'm all about that. Last thing you want is your camera to pop off here. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it on pause for a second. And what I'm going to do is actually put my 7D, put my 70 to 200 lens, uh, F4 again, so not the 28, on here. And we're going to see how the head holds it. And I'll be right back. <laughs> 